Okay. I guess I just follow where the guests show up. Speaking of which, I forgot we can level up. Get the rest of that fitness going. Um, increase melee damage bonus by 30%. Increase weapon damage bonus by 25% for 20 seconds after an enemy is killed by heavy melee. No, that's kind of pointless. Health and shield bonuses by 25%. Um, screw it, might as well. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but... Whatever. We'll go that way. Three more points, and I can't use it yet. Tally, you only got two points. You only got four points. Decoy out of my way, please. Hello. You know, Geth Primes aren't nearly as scary as I had originally thought they might be for this game. I remember them being a bit tougher in previous games. Of course, I didn't have a gun that was so awesome as I do right now, either. So that could be a factor, I suppose. Where am I going? I guess down this way. Oh, come on. Thank you. Hey, Legion. All ships open fire. Great. Shepard Commander, the Creator Fleet is firing upon this vessel. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Get transmit intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Get fighters are docked in a port side fighter bay. We can pilot a fighter to safety. Shepard to fleet. Hold fire. I repeat, hold fire. They're not responding. Damn it. Shepard Commander, we have taken control of docking protocols. We'll be right there. Ah. Uh, now what do I do? There, I guess. Ah, crap. Shepard Commander, we can only launch 
from the upper level. Let's go! Shepard, the door! Double time, people! Hurry! We're moving in by a mental field! We'll make it! Thank you for saving Tally. Nordia Shepard, reading a loss of gravity. You okay over there? Fine. We're leaving in a Geth fighter, transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go! Quarians, why do you have to be so self-centered and stupid? Could have at least waited for us to get off the stupid ship. They fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? Yep. They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard? And Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard? The mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. Unfortunately, but next time you better give me a warning or I will kill you myself. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Bosh, Ted. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. Mm -hmm. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Say hello to Legion. Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Yeah, no, don't think so, and I'll kill you if you try. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about ah. the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila. I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator lifeships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. 
Thanks. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our call system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull breaches. Life support failing. The death recovers faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Ah, that's it. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Hey, Legion, how's it going? Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. Mm -hmm. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked with server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor Great. regrets about rewriting the heretics? We just made our chances of doing this right worse. Arrgh, I should have just killed them all. The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Huh. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. 
data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. Hmm. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Alrighty then. Anything new, Tally? Shepard, uh, Commander. Uh, I've already talked about that. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Alrighty then, so I think we got a few quests. Yeah, it was really, really stupid of them to fight this war. It's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. Lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Of course. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Commander? Commander? The Cure from Malon. Commander Shepard, I've just heard the news that you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. Can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tuchanka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. Hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solis to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when the word got back to Clan Warlock and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you've saved my life, Commander. That's nice. Jacob! Hey, Shepard. This Crucible project is intense. Brynn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, want to meet me there? Things were so crazy on Galex. It'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around, Jacob. Oh, we'll definitely stop there. Crucible update from Bren Cole. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group off out of that facility on Galax. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Though I never rely on luck, in this instance I feel we, we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Oh, well, that's nice. Now that we've done a few main missions, let's go talk to the crew. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. <laughs> As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? Um, no. We are not. Right, just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion. He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right, we can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Commander. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This yeah. is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? <laughs> you have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Alrighty then.
what do we have in our journal anyway? <sighs> Fuel reactors, we'll be doing that later. Rannick, Geth Fighter Squadrons. Um, Quarian ship carrying Admiral Chorus crash landed on Rannick, leaving the civilian fleet without a leader. And then this is the priority one, it looks like. Geth remain under Reaper control. Continue to help the Quarian fleet survive the Geth attack until the Reaper base can be located. So basically, doing these will lead to this one, I imagine. I wonder if the crew will have anything to say yet or if we have to keep going with these missions before they'll open up. Dr. Chocolate's medical, starboard observation, main battery, the R's cabin, well, everybody's where they should be. Hey, Ashley. Heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Yep. Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Huh. Hey there. Almost tempted to bring Ashley along just for the fun of it, but um, I don't think I'll be able to get that chance. Because I imagine with Legion going on that one mission, we'll have to bring Tally. Well, we should bring Tally to all these missions, but probably won't have a choice in that matter. We should probably have to go. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. <laughs> Alright. If what Javik says is true, is people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror, and I think he would sacrifice all of us without thought if it could bring him all back if it could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are they really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Um, it's just a bunch of smuggled stuff. Jacob to Bryn. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who who know I used to work for Cerberus can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Dr. Loke, I was one working on that problem you sent me last night, and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy burst. Punch the attached capacitor redesign into your projections. It should shave 3.6 milliseconds off Mass Effect Field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We'll need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Oh, that's nice. Anything? Nothing! But we got a lot of intel. Look at that. A lot of stuff. Greetings, Commander. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. 
The Genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. <laughs> so what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. No. Oh. <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. <laughs> Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Lovely. Always good talking to you, Garrus. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well... A welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. Another time, maybe. Don't suppose Dr. Chakwas is going to have anything to say, but might as well check since we're right here. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. That's nice. Nothing to report. Good deal. Talk to you later, Doc. It's too bad she's up in the war room. She could be pretty good at engineering. Maybe she'll be there after we get done with the uh, Quarian missions. Uh, reporter lady, you gonna have anything to say? Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Does Dr. Tassoni ever let you in her room? Because she keeps me out. Can't imagine why. Do we need to talk, Commander? Nope. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Bye. Did you hear? Kelly Chambers is dead. Oh no, what happened? Cerberus found her during a Citadel coup. Shot her where she stood. Oh, that's terrible. She seemed really nice. What if we'd gone back to Cerberus? Your gut saved us, Gabby. Well, it's nice that they're finally talking amongst themselves. Took forever. Shepard. My board is green. Nothing to report, Commander.
Um, Javik, I nearly forgot about you. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. Huh. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Except for perhaps... the Commander? What? How, how do you know? <laughs> They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? The creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI seized the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines, or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Well, Javik, I want to like you, but you're kind of a jerk. I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. The machine you call Ide. What if she sympathizes with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the airlock, Commander? There is still time. I still have much to learn about this cycle. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Alright. Wow, you are kind of a jerk. I still want to like you, but you're kind of a jerk. That's disappointing. Let's see what Cortez and or James have to say. Cortez. Oh, there you are. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of a dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. Is everything okay, Shepard? Yep. Uh, let me through, thank you. 
James, anything to say? Hey, Shepard. Hey. It sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Yep. Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust him. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Huh. Sparks? Yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crazy that they picked now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life as we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm all the way back here. I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get them. Hey. I'm not sure, um... We can maybe upgrade some stuff. Um, arc pistol. I can maybe give that to Tally. Um, I think I'll give this one to Tally. Oh, and then the pulse rifle, rifle. I forgot about that. Yeah, might as well. I honestly don't know if it's better or worse, but I'm going to upgrade it anyway. And the pistol. Okay, I think that's good for now. Can't really do anything with any of those though at the moment. Let's make sure I got everything I want on my guns. Enhanced barrel. Zoom zoom. Yep. Just out of curiosity. Ah, damage is better with that. I wonder if that is any good though. But wait some more though. I think I'll stick with what I have. This one here. Not that I ever use the pistol enough to worry about anyway, but... I don't think I got any other armor, so... Should be good to go there. Alrighty, well, we'll go back up to the CIC, and then that'll be it for this set of videos. Next time, we will take on the, uh... Two or three... Um, Corian slash Geth missions. Let's see where that takes us. I'm just going to let all these load out here. I might give that arc pistol to Edie too. 
it's a tech oriented type gun it seems like something she might want to use anyways let's make a permanent save thanks for watching boys and girls I am the good old gamer this has been more Mass Effect 3 we have Tally and Legion uh, at least for the time being so that's cool stay tuned for more Quarian and Geth soap opera drama next time bye bye for now